do stem cells need to be harvested and grown? I don't believe so. I think the body knows best. So what we do at Caring Medical is in situ prolotherapy. In other words, we do in situ stem cell or bone marrow prolotherapy. What it means is we take out the stem cells directly from the bone marrow because that's kind of the main center of stem cells in the body is bone marrow. I should say also bone marrow cells, it appears, have the most potential to differentiate into cartilage cells compared to other uh, stem cells. So that's another reason that we might use bone marrow cells versus other cells as far as uh, stimulating or hopefully stimulating the repair of articular cartilage. But in situ, we do in situ uh, prolotherapy, which means that we take the bone marrow, obviously cells directly out of the bone marrow, which is inside the bones, and then we inject it directly into the knee. So that's called in situ prolotherapy. We don't harvest the cells. So it, harvesting the cells is done outside the body. So in other words, what some centers do, including the hospitals, this is basically what the hospitals do. They either take the bone marrow uh, cells or they get stem cells like from fat or bone marrow, and then they harvest them, which means that they grow them in a lab. Or they take cartilage cells from, you know, from surgery, they'll take some cartilage cells from arthroscopic surgery, then they grow them in a lab. Because it's done outside the body, that's called in vitro. They do use whole cells, so when you use whole cells, that's called in vivo, but again, they're doing it outside the body. I don't know about you, but me, I don't want my cells you know, being harvested and gr being grown all over here because I just think the body knows best. And, and is, are the cells going to be healthy? Then exactly what, what are they doing? Like what are they putting in there? You know, you know, what kind of, you know, what's happening? You know, and so just logically, cells that are outside the body, you can never duplicate exactly what happens inside the body. And the best example I can come up with is like with breastfeeding. Everybody knows breastfeeding's best. Breastfeeding's in situ. In other words, the baby suckles to the mother's breast and the mother's body will make the right kind of milk for the baby. No matter how much medicine tries to get the right formula, you know, to feed the baby instead of breast milk. Breast milk is always going to be best. So I think it's best you take the bone marrow cells, you put them into the joint. There's no harvesting. You just directly inject them into the joint. Then the body will do what the body uh, was, meant, was, was meant to do to heal that joint. And people forget that bone marrow cells are self-renewing. So in other words, t theoretically, if you have one good bone marrow cell and it's in the right environment in your body, because basically whether you harvest cells or you take your cells directly from the bone marrow, they have to live inside your joint. So what has the greater potential to live? Some cell that's completely healthy inside your bone marrow and we inject it directly into the knee, or some cell that again is taken from your bone marrow but it's grown for several weeks or months and then inject it into your knee, I would say the healthiest one is just one that's fresh. Is fresh best? Is fresh healthiest? When you catch fish and then you, it's a fresh fish and then you eat it, is that healthier? Is it better to like catch it, you know, freeze it in, you know, in your freezer for a month and then eat it? Like which one's healthier? So I, I just believe, you know, the body knows best. So. Having said that, though, there isn't any studies that I know of that one kind's better th than another, you know, as far as scientific studies. As far as this office is, we're not doing anything patented. We're just going to take bone marrow cells, we're going to inject them into the various joints. We are going to study it, you know, do uh, questionnaires, and then uh, a lot of the folks we're going to have before and after x-rays. So I think, you know, we'll, we'll, like a lot of centers, we're just going to, you know, do good documentation and find out, does bone marrow prolotherapy or stem cell prolotherapy add to the healing effects of procedures like Hackett-Hemwall prolotherapy? And I think in some specific clients, the answer definitely will be yes.